Hi, in this video, I wanna do a review on some kayaks we purchased earlier this year. We had been looking for kayaks that we could take with us camping or just on a short trip over to the lake. And uh, we knew we wanted a tandem kayak because there's four in our family, two adults and two kids. So we wanted to have a kayak that we could put an adult and a kid on each one and get out on the lake. We also didn't wanna spend a ton of money and we didn't want them to be too big. Uh, we knew we'd wanna travel with the kayaks when we were camping. So the smaller, the better for us. So what we ended up deciding on was the Lifetime Kokanee Tandem Kayak. It's a sit on top kayak. It'll hold 425 pounds and actually has three seating positions. You can set up the seat in the front and the back the way we keep it. Or if you only have one person using the kayak, there's a middle seating position that you can remove one of the backrests and uh, move the other backrest over to the middle and have just a single person uh, centered right in the middle of the kayak. So we've had these kayaks for a couple months now and we've used them a few times. There's a couple of things I like about them, a couple of things I don't like, and uh, we'll go over all those in this video. If this is your first time on this channel, my name's Jason and this is a Weekend RV Adventures YouTube channel. On this channel, I share camping tips and tricks. I share some of my favorite gear and some of the trips and adventures we go on. So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more. Now, getting right down to these kayaks, overall, I really love them. They've been a great kayak for our family. Uh, they're a little bit heavy. They weigh 76 pounds, which doesn't sound like much, but for one person, it's pretty tough to maneuver around. Uh, with two people, it's not too bad, but that gets me right to my first uh, and major dislike of these kayaks is there's only one carrying handle in the front. So when you're lifting up the kayak from the back, they've molded a little groove into the back of the kayak that you can grab onto with your hands. But if you're carrying it for a long distance, uh, your fingers will start to wear out pretty quick and you'll have to set it down. I know we were at one camping trip where our campsite was just across the street from the lake and my wife was carrying the front and I was carrying the back. And by the time we got to the down to the lake, uh, my fingers were pretty much numb. So what I've done to fix that is I've went ahead and ordered a couple little uh, handles off of Amazon. And I'll put links in the video description to the kayaks, uh, some paddles and the handles, uh, so you can check all that stuff out. But the handles I just drilled and riveted on with some aluminum rivets, and those make it much easier to carry the kayaks. Uh, my son likes helping out, he's only 11 years old, but he was actually able to carry the kayak with the handles on the back before he could carry the front of the kayak using the handle, but he couldn't do the back because that molded handhold just wasn't enough for him to grip. So I would highly recommend if you get these kayaks to go ahead and uh, order some handles right away and put it on the back. I put two on the back uh, just to make it a little easier if both of my kids want to share a side, but one handle right in the middle would probably be sufficient. The next thing I'd like to talk about with these kayaks is how stable they are in the water. With two little kids, uh, they like to move around and I've not been afraid at all that these kayaks were gonna tip over. We actually stopped and went swimming a couple of times and the kids could climb right over the side into the water. Uh, I even climbed off into the water and was able to climb right back up into the kayak without it tipping over. So I think that's a, a major advantage of this kayak. Uh, it is a wide kayak and I think that's what helps make it so stable in the water. Uh, if you look at the bottom of it, you can just see it looks nice and wide. Uh, that means it's not a real fast kayak and I'm not a kayaking uh, professional or uh, don't know a lot about kayaking, but I do know that uh, some kayaks you see are narrow and sleek and look like they'll move fast. That's definitely not these kayaks. These kayaks sit nice and wide, which makes them stable but probably makes them slower and maybe a little harder to paddle than some other kayaks. But uh, at 10 feet long, I don't mind that it's a shorter, fatter kayak because it makes it a little easier to, tra to transport. Uh, that's one of the next issues I have is transporting these kayaks. They are big and they're heavy. They're only 10 feet long, but they're pretty wide. And uh, that width makes them a little tricky. I thought I'd be able to put them in the back of my truck and just move them around pretty easily. But, uh, I'll go ahead and cut to a little picture here or a video of how they look in the back of my truck. And you can see it's not pretty. So I've actually just ordered a rack 
uh, to put on the roof. I'm hoping that I can put the kayaks on the roof rack and still pull my fifth wheel. We've got a camping trip coming up here uh, next weekend, so I'm hoping the roof rack will come in. And if that all works out, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of this video and uh, maybe in the cards, it should pop up on the screen, showing you uh, how that roof rack worked out for me. Uh, but for right now, we have been moving them in the back of the truck and uh, it works, but I'm not able to take the kayaks and haul my fifth wheel camper at the same time. I had thought about mounting them on the back of the fifth wheel, but uh, bumpers on the back of fifth wheels and travel trailers are known not to be the strongest. And with the weight of these kayaks and having two of them, I'm a little afraid to mount them on the back of the camper. So we've thrown that idea out. The next thing I'll talk about is your selection of paddles with these kayaks. Because these kayaks are pretty wide, you may want to go with a longer paddle. Uh, when I purchased the kayaks, I looked at some sizing charts for paddles and it said that I could use about a seven foot paddle. My wife and I are both shorter, so that's what I went with. And it turns out that because these kayaks are so wide, you really have to reach to the sides when you're paddling in order to not bump into the sides of the kayak with the, the paddle itself. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and order some eight foot paddles. I think that extra length will be enough that uh, it'll make it a little more comfortable while you're paddling. It turns out though that my kids really like paddling the kayaks. Uh, when we're out, they've been paddling half the time and we've just been riding along. So I'll just keep the shorter paddles and let them use them. And uh, we'll keep the longer paddles for me and my wife to use. Now let's just take a look at the general design and features on the Kokanee kayak. Uh, this is a sit on top kayak. So it's relatively flat on the top. It's not a sit inside kayak. So you're not gonna be down underneath inside the hull. You'll be sitting on top of it. Uh, at the front, there's a drain plug, so if water does get up inside the hull, you can take that plug out and uh, tip it forward and drain the water out. Then behind that, there's a small uh, area with a bungee on top that you could use to store any loose items while you're traveling. Uh, we haven't used it yet, but uh, I'm sure it would be convenient if you had anything loose that you wanted to store up there. Coming back a little further, there's an indentation right in the middle between the legs of the front passenger. and. Uh, We've used that for setting a water bottle there. Uh, it does a great job of holding it in place so it's not rolling around the kayak while you're paddling. Uh, behind that is a access into the hull of the kayak. It's about a six inch uh, opening. You can take that lid off and get down inside of there. And uh, we haven't really stored anything underneath, but uh, if you need to get in there, that's one access point. There's another one in the back. Coming back behind that, there's a cup holder. Um, I prefer using the indentation in the front that kind of lets your water bottle lay down flat because it seems like if you use the cup holder, uh, if you have any waves or anything like that, it's just going to tip over and fall right out because it's not a very deep holder. Next is the front passenger seat and that clips into the middle and then has two little straps that tie down to adjust the back. And uh, I find the backs are pretty comfortable. They're not incredibly stable. Uh, you know, they bounce a little bit because you just have a nylon web holding you up but uh, I've been sitting in the kayak recording this video and it's not bothering me. The longest we've been out is about an hour. In that amount of time, I've adjusted the back, you know, up and down a little bit to try and uh, adjust my seating position, but it's been rather comfortable. I haven't got off the kayak with my back aching or anything like that. Uh, and then behind that is the center passenger seating position. So if you'd like to ride the kayak as a single, that's where you'd put the seat. And then there's the rear passenger seating position. And behind that is another access compartment down into the hull and another bungee strap that you can use for tying things down. I did modify the cover on the back hatch. Uh, in Ohio, I have to register the kayaks and there's a registration sticker and a little card you have to take with you. Uh, so for that registration card, I wanted somewhere to store it. So I took the back cover off and I drilled a small hole in one of the ribs and put like a, uh, a keychain ring in that hole with a Ziploc bag that I could hang the registration card from. If you put something in the back, it could end up all the way in the front or it could end up in the middle. And uh, you may be able to go in through the front, front hatch or the rear hatch and get to it. But uh, I like having that ring there so I could hook something onto it and make sure it stays put. Going back to the sit on top design, uh, since it is a sit on top kayak, uh, if water gets onto the kayak, it has some uh, drain holes that the water can get back out. There's two near the front uh, seat, two near the middle, and one right under the middle of the rear seat. And I found they do a good job of letting the water drain out. Uh, 
everything seems to be sloped towards those drain holes. So uh, we've been riding and splashing each other or sp splashing the kids and uh, or jump in the water and jump back in the kayak all wet and the water seems to drain out uh, pretty good. They don't seem to let water in either. I know they sell uh, little plugs for the drain holes and uh, I'm sure there's some reason people would want to use those but uh, I kind of like it just the way it is because the water drains out and no water comes back up in through those holes so it, it's been a great setup I think. Uh, maybe if you were out in cold weather and the water was really cold and you wanted to make sure that that water didn't come up you might want to plug the holes. Well the last thing I want to talk about before we wrap up this review is the value of these kayaks. The Lifetime Kokanee kayak I think is a great value for a tandem kayak. When we were looking around there were several kayaks that were two, three, four times the cost of these, uh, well over a thousand dollars. And we purchased two kayaks and the paddles uh, for well under a thousand dollars. So I would say it's an incredible value. If you're not uh, a professional kayaker, not, not looking for something real serious and any uh, fancy bells and whistles, these are a great kayak for a family. Uh, you can get out at an affordable price, get on the water and have some fun with your kids or with your spouse or your significant other. And uh, you're not gonna break the bank trying to do it. So again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, and you can check out the description of the video for some links uh, to check out these kayaks, check out the handles, check out the paddles, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.